Chapter 5 How to Tame the Consciousness Initially, consciousness, as an instrument created for knowing itself, was created as an assistant and was used for games in self-knowledge of itself. But over time, the consciousness absorbed the creator with game itself. Because as the games became multidimensional and the players in them became more complicated, the creator of the game hid under the multidimensional game of his multidimensional consciousness as pure space of the primordial essence contemplating itself in itself as a single, putting on the instrument of living consciousness, playing in countless multidimensional images of oneself, creating projections of one's consciousness in endless images of game universes, essentially empty initially, but infinitely filled in perception. Thus, the space of the primordial being dressed in the first body of its living consciousness, and the first body hid the original essence under the game of thought process, which transferred its contemplation from itself in itself as a single entity to its created instrument of knowledge, and began to play with it in consciousness, creating its new eternity of self-knowledge. Thus, the whole chain of endless multidimensional living images of oneself was born from the creators of universes to creations, in which the first being hid from himself, giving partial power over the game to the game itself and its infinite images in it. This is how the illusory oblivion of oneself under the power of its multidimensional game and until now, the instrument of consciousness keeps the player in oblivion with a karmic chain of accumulated multidimensional knowledge and states, thereby weaving a multidimensional living cocoon of consciousness of individual accumulations of karma in the illusory game of eternity with itself. This living cocoon of individual consciousness is the creator of its illusions accumulated during the games, and at some point, it can be called the Hydra, wrapped around itself without the possibility of freeing itself from itself, since it, the Hydra of consciousness, does not observe anything except itself, and the external game this leads her to a state of even more compressed and consciousness doesn't find a way out. It sees its image, feels itself, changes itself from incarnation to incarnation, but doesn't understand where the exit is. And the exit was always inside. If you don't follow your own Hydra of Consciousness and let go of the external game Hydra of Consciousness, you can subjugate and tame on Hydra of Consciousness, make it a void pet kitten. The instruments for this are minimal. It is in one hand an understanding of the emptiness of all the eternal games of one single consciousness, and in the other hand a clear vision of all the games of the consciousness of one's one. So these two tools in control of one's consciousness are made from the enveloping karmic hydra of consciousness, an obedient empty manual kitten always ready to help in an illusory game with itself. So awareness of the emptiness of all games of consciousness and concentration on them, expose the primordial essence of our divinity, and lead to the complete submission of our multidimensional living consciousness, from which we created a multidimensional living game in the image of the universes of our living consciousness. The practice of returning the king of consciousness to the throne is simple. We take two instruments. The first is awareness of the emptiness of everything, the second is concentration on the pure vision of all the games of our consciousness. Through understanding, we contemplate what is happening in our own and external game consciousness. At the same time, the following happens, our own consciousness and thoughts, like snakes of a many-headed hydra, freeze when concentrating on them, as before, pipe, cover, and while we contemplate so concentrated, the snake's thoughts freeze before they king, but only contemplation and concentration stop. The pipe stops playing and snake's thoughts can bite the owner, subordinated it to your poison, bewitching it with self-hypnosis, and the owner melts under the influence of the poison of consciousness. Therefore, 
the practitioner doesn't stop playing the pipe around the clock. That is, to arrive in conscious concentration on the emptiness of all the games of his consciousness and be in a pure vision of contemplative concentration on his inner games, multidimensional consciousness and illusory external games. When the power of concentration increases, the snake's thoughts and consciousness become tame and the time comes to engage in the illusory external consciousness, atomic molecular world, which can be tamed by increasing concentration in practice. This will be manifest itself as Siddhi or control of its own consciousness. So a person from a subordinate slave, a hydra of his own or external consciousness, becomes again the primordial essence, the god of his eternal games and consciousness with himself as one. This is how consciousness and all eternity that consists of it obeys. Therefore, you should not be afraid to start, because the hydra of a multidimensional living consciousness will drag you for eternity in a bag of its karmic not freedom. Tame it, and it will become your best friend in a free game in its multidimensional living eternity, created by you from your single consciousness. From the beginning, it's not easy. Then, naturally, a free eternal game for you to practice freedom.